I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So over the weekend, I thought I would get into my backlog and what better place to start than with the Emperor's Throne Room. 75352, this diorama honouring the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi is beautiful. Now, this set reminds me of being a kid and combining the final duel sets from 2002. I would take Luke and make him fight Vader. Now, these sets were only 29 and 23 pieces back in the day and only cost £5 each at the time. 20 plus years later, this set was a must as a fan and still felt like pocket money treat despite it costing significantly more. Now, I found this a fairly straightforward build, but wasn't sure in the beginning about the pipe pieces designed to hold the glass behind Palpatine's chair. However, the effect it creates once complete looks great, and I really appreciate the accuracy on the glass pieces. This is also the kind of set that, as a fan, it gets me thinking about how I can mock up more of the Emperor's throne room. A really smart area under the floorboards here where you can put the Emperor's lightning hands under the floorboards if you wish to just display, as you see him there, that iconic scene of the three of them with the Emperor in his chair. One thing I would absolutely love to see in the coming years from Star Wars Lego is a diorama on the invisible hand with Count Dooku, Anakin, Obi-Wan and Palpatine. I think that would be an amazing 20th anniversary set in 2025 for Revenge of the Sith. As you can see, the child in me still went out of the way to recreate a couple of those final moment scenes and pick them up on camera. Now, one thing I love about these sets is the fact that you get the plaque with the quote from the film on it. But what I really like about this particular set is the 40th anniversary brick that you see on the bottom there. It's sleek, it's black, it looks fantastic, and it really adds to the quality of the display. I love the face printing on these figures, especially on Vader. The white, crusty, scarred face has been captured really well here. Likewise with Sheev Palpatine, you can see the quality and detail that's gone into the face printing on this particular model. Eight-year-old me also really wishes that I'd had the lightning hands that Palpatine has there. Now, I was considering leaving my diorama like that with this particular configuration of the three of them with Luke looking out onto the rebel attack. Um, but I think I might leave it like it is there. Do let me know in the comments which way around you think I should have it. I loved the speeder bike diorama and the trash compactor diorama, but I think this one is my favourite so far.